Hi all folks, this is Max from my new site, uh, droidbionicroot.com. So today we're going to try to root our phone um, using the one-click method for Droid 3, but I'm going to try it on this anyways and see if it works. I'm thinking it would work because um, they're pretty much running the same software. Anyway, let's go. Uh, to do this, first you need to go to uh, Settings and go to Applications and go to development and make sure USB debugging is checked on connect a USB cable to your Windows computer this is for Windows for right now I'll have instructions uh, for Mac and Linux later and once you've done that go to your computer and next uh, we're gonna verify that uh, your drivers are installed so go to control panel hardware and sound device manager and uh, Make sure you have something like this, Android Devices and Moto Composite ADB device. If you don't, I'll have links to uh, the Motorola drivers that you can install and you should get that. And once you've got those installed, now we're ready to go. Go download uh, droidbionic root.zip, unzip it to a folder, and then you're going to run Pete's Motorola root tools.exe and we're going to try to root it. And uh, it probably doesn't say for Droid Bionic, but I'm just going to do it anyways <laughs> to see if it... This should work, because it's pretty much the same phone. Um, Uh-oh. Sorry. All of my phones are ringing. Hold on. Hi, right, folks. Sorry, my phone goes off. I have like five different phones hooked up to Google Voice on my phone number. And just every time somebody calls, all my phones are just ringing, going crazy. Uh, anyway, let's. I'm gonna try to root the phone and uh, click on it. Root my phone. Um, okay. It says it's searching for my phone, and uh, it's running exploit step one of three. And it says done, and it's working. That's freaking awesome. And it's rebooting my phone, so I'm thinking it should work. And uh, I have links to uh, the guy who made this uh, root tool, so you can donate to him. Um, donate thousands of dollars. No, I'm just kidding. I just you know, even a dollar will help those developers. Thanks to them. Um, hopefully, my, I'll have a rooted. Uh, Bionic, um, Motorola Bionic. He also has tools for Linux or uh, Windows. So I'll have downloads to that if you want to just try it. I think process is pretty much the same. You don't need to install the drivers, uh, but the, uh, run the versions for Linux and Mac. So it's rebooting. Let me actually, if I can give you a better resolution here. Just my camera. Anyway, this is going to be exciting because I want to get I want to get free tethering um, on my Droid Bionic because when I go to my mom's house, it's kind of slow. Um, on well, I used my Sprint 4G, but still it'll be f it'll be better if I can um, you know tether my LG 4TE. So it's almost done. Um, so hopefully I'll have super user and then I'll verify it by installing Wi-Fi Tether and then I'll even show you that Wi-Fi Tether is working for free. Um, hopefully that's the goal and this is just this is actually the first time I'm ever doing it. Um, so hopefully everything works out otherwise this video might not end up on YouTube. But if it does it will. Which is our goal. But uh, Droid 3 just came out like not too long ago and if this thing works for all the other droids, it should work for Droid uh, Bionic. Um, the only thing is, uh, it still I think has a lock bootloader, which means we can't um, install new ROMs until that is available. Um, so we're doing step two of three, and step three of three, adding su busybox and superuser.apk, and hopefully when this is done, I'll have superuser and we'll go verify that we can get free Wi-Fi tethering. And it says, congratulations, your phone should be rooted after one more reboot. Um, so, this is done. And you can always run this program to unroot your phone, but make sure you save the uh, stock 
stock ROM that comes with it, um, rooted ROM. I'm not sure we can do that yet because uh, I think we can. I'm not sure if we can flash Clockwork My Recovery, but I will do it and find out. And uh, you can also do run temp ADB root procedure. Um, anyway, let me uh, adjust the camera and see if we have root. Hi, right, folks. So I've rebooted, and it's gonna be exciting. Um, I haven't actually not. I went to XDA, but no one actually posted anything about rooting. Uh, I think it's because everybody's still getting their phone. But uh, see if we have super user. Yes, we do have super user. All right, and uh, let me go. Let me go download. Um, what happened to my signals here, though? Okay, let me go on Wi-Fi and go download um, Wi-Fi Android Wi-Fi Tether. Okay, it's just booting up. Okay, so we'll just do it together. Um, let me open up the browser and uh, go type Android Wi-Fi Tether. All right, and then you can download the latest version. Go to the Google.com thingy here and uh, downloads. Um, and download the latest APK version. Download it, and it'll probably ask. It'll probably say that you can't install. It. I'm not sure. You might have to install it manually uh, through ADB. <clears throat> but um, I might be able to install it. Let me see. Settings. Go to settings. Allow unknown sources. And then go back and uh, go open up downloads again and click on there and install and uh, oh it's installed and when you open up the device or sorry the Wi-Fi tether app this is a rooted app you can only run it as a root um, we're gonna go go to settings uh, we're just gonna leave encryption there and we're just put here um, droid BBBB like that and then it's on 4G LTE go back and start tethering and allow all right so we've got a fully rooted Droid Bionic uh, within hours of getting the phone thanks to uh, Pete's Motorola root tools it works fine and let's go to our computer and see if we can tether hi all folks so I've got the uh, I got the Wi-Fi here and we got the Droid BBB um, it's actually in ad hoc mode that's fine for now I'm sure uh, I can change it to inf infrastructure mode and then let's see if we can connect. We should hear a beep beep on my phone if it connects correctly. Um, oh, come on, crossing my fingers. Hello. Okay, it's not connecting, so I might change, uh, play with the settings a little bit. Actually, if you go, you can read the logs. If you uh, press menu button and uh, show log, It'll show you everything actually done fine. And you can actually go to settings and change. Uh, let me see. You can try probably doing a uh, routing fix. Sometimes that fixes it. Uh, I'm sorry. There's a routing fix. I didn't adjust the cam. So it's going to restart Tether um, with the routing fix. Let me see if I can try it again. Okay, it says it's connected. I'm gonna disconnect real quick and then try again. So it did connect this time, as you can see, with the routing fix, but it says no um, no access. So we can do is go look at the status. But I'm getting an actual IP address. Um, so let me see if I can type um, Google Google.com. Let me see, I got the routing fix. Um, sometimes what happens is if you, I'm gonna turn it off and on. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries before you get it. And I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on real quick here. And it's trying to connect again. I should get a beep here. It says it's connected, but I'm not getting a beep beep. Let me see, access control, see it doesn't show um, it should show. 
All right, hold, hold on. Let me try to figure out what's going on here. Okay, I think I figured it out. Um, the, uh, I think there's a, some kind of block by uh, Verizon. So when you try to run the free program, this thing comes up even though it's not on. So that will have to wait, but uh, we'll figure it out. Um, but in the meanwhile, I have a fully uh, rooted uh, with a super user, um, Droid Bionic. So that's how you root your Droid Bionic. And uh, next video, I'll try to have uh, install Clockwork Mod Recovery. And the next video, we'll try to install new ROMs. Hopefully, in a couple of days, we'll have a way to install new ROMs. Anyway, thanks, y'all. Subscribe. Um, subscribe to my new channel. I'm going to have all the Droid Bionic hacks at droidbionicroot.com. Thanks, y'all, and subscribe. See y'all later.